Hey guys, going to do a real quick video here showing you guys an issue with the DJM 900 Nexus while running Tractor on a Windows computer. This is a Lenovo that I'm running here. Nothing special, but it does a trick, you know what I mean? It's got 16 gigs RAM, whatever. Um, so, but check this out. So try to run the Nexus as a sound card. And when you look... Here's what it gives me, right? When you look at your output routing, though, look, you can only select the line. That's it. So that's kind of useless. Um, I mean, I tried literally everything. I even reinstalled Windows to see if that was a problem. Didn't fix a damn thing. So as I do a little bit of hunting on the internet, and what do I find out? I find a video telling me that basically Tractor, by default, runs in 64-bit mode. I'm running 64-bit Windows, makes sense, right? Um, but Pioneer, to this day anyways, they still never made 64-bit drivers. So basically, here's what you have to do. Um, I'm gonna, not going to undo it, but if you go into your program files, native instruments, into your Tractor 2 folder, you're going to see one called Tractor, right? And then when you go into the x86, you're going to see another one called Tractor. So, what you're going to be doing is you're going to take the first tractor that you see in here, you're going to rename it to this Tractor 64. So you know which one is a 64-bit one. And then when you go into the x86, you just literally cut that, like, you know, go up there and hit the cut, right? And then you come back out of here, you hit the paste, and you're going to paste that one there in. So that way there, the shortcut now, I close that up, when I open up my shortcut, it's going to launch the 32-bit one. And it, right off the bat, it says, you want to switch to the Pioneer DJM 900? Yes, I do. So now when I open everything up and take a look at my audio setup, you're going to see the DJM 900 Nexus ASIO, right? When I look at my output routing, and everything's what it should be. So yeah, that solves that mystery. Um, the answer was always out there, so there are other videos talking about it. And um, I just figured it out, so I thought, why not share with you guys? Um, yeah, that's it. So that's the setup. going to run the CDJs with the X1, the F1, and everything through the uh, window system here and see how it works. Talk to you guys later.